scooters. <laughs> it is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and George are playing on their scooters. <laughs> George is still learning how to scooter. He is a bit worried. George, shall I teach you how to scooter? <laughs> OK, you hold on to the handlebars like this with both hands. Now stand on the scooter. Oh, No, George, stand on the scooter with one foot. Good. <laughs> now push off with the other foot like this. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> George, you're doing it! George has learned to scooter. <laughs> Pepper, George! That's enough scootering for now. It's time to go to playgroup. Oh, we've only just started scootering. <laughs> Can we ride our scooters to playgroup, Daddy? Good idea. We could do with the exercise. Hooray! Ready, steady, go! Whee! Wait for me. See you later, Mummy Pig. See you later. Pepper and George are riding their scooters to playgroup. <laughs> Not so fast. <laughs> Come on, Daddy. Daddy can't keep up. <laughs> Wait for me. Pepper and George have arrived at playgroup. Bye bye, Daddy. Bye bye. <gasps> bye. Oh, now I'm going to have to walk back home. What I need are some wheels. Hang on, I've got wheels. Whee! <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> Daddy Pig likes scootering. Brum, brum. Whee! <laughs> Daddy Pig, you're riding Pepper's scooter. Yes, scootering is such fun. You should try it sometime. <laughs> Pepper and George are painting pictures at Playgroup. Madam Gazelle, we came to school on our scooters today. <laughs> Very good, Peppa and George. Let's all paint pictures of how we came to school today. <laughs> I came on my bicycle. <laughs> Very good. I walked here. So nice to get the fresh air in your lungs. My granddad brought me in his truck. Broom, broom, broom. Uh -huh. Lovely. It is time for Mummy and Daddy Pig to pick up the children from playgroup. Have you got the car keys, Daddy Pig? I don't think we should take the car, Mummy Pig. But it's a long way to walk to playgroup. We don't have to walk. I made that mistake this morning. We can scooter. <laughs> Race you! Whee! What? Are you sure? Uh, OK. Whee! Whee! Mummy and Daddy Pig are scootering to playgroup to pick up Pepper and George. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> that was great! I told you we wouldn't have to walk! Mummy! Daddy! You brought our scooters! <laughs> Hooray! Whee! Whee! Ah, uh, yes. That seems to leave us without scooters for the journey home. Daddy Pig, you said we wouldn't have to walk. We won't have to walk, but we will have to run! Race you! Hey, wait for me! Pepper, George! Oh, wait for Mummy and Daddy! <laughs> Pepper and George love scootering. Everybody loves scootering. <laughs> Boomerang! <laughs> it is the end of Pepper's holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. <laughs> Why don't you children go and play in the garden while we pack? OK, Mummy! <laughs> This holiday is the best! <laughs> I loved having you stay, Peppa. I wish we didn't have to go back home. <laughs> Don't be sad. I've got you a goodbye present. Ooh, is it a banana? No.
No. Dinosaur? No. It's a thing. Yes, but it's not just any old thing. It's a boomerang. A boomerang? Boomerangs are very special to us. We've used them since olden times. Wow. Thank you, Kylie. Uh, what do you do with it? You play catch with it. Like a ball. Sort of, but when you throw a boomerang, it comes back to you. That's impossible. <laughs> I told you it was impossible. You need to throw it harder. George, you have a go. <laughs> oh, it doesn't work. You're just not throwing it right. <laughs> you need to throw it hard. What? Like this? <gasps> Watch out! Whoa! Aha! I did it! The boomerang has <laughs> flown all the way back to Peppa. <laughs> What was that? It's a boomerang, Daddy. Ah, uh, yes. You have to throw it hard and then it comes back. Allow me to show you, Mr Pig. Are you ready? One, two, three, throw! So, when does it come back? Ah... Keep a good lookout, kids. That boomerang could be anywhere. I think we might have found it. Hello. This is Mr Wallaby. He is the next door neighbour. Uh, hi, Mr Wallaby. I was uh, just teaching these kids how to throw a boomerang. Sorry about your window. Well, there's no worries there, mate. What's a broken window between friends? <laughs> Mr Wallaby is a very nice neighbour. Don't let it happen again, though. Thanks. Like I was saying, to throw a boomerang, you need to throw it hard. What? Like this? That's it, Daddy! It's coming back! Here she comes! Here she comes! Catch it, Mr Pig! Ah, missed it! <gasps> oh, no! The boomerang has broken another window. Well, <laughs> I think we should be going. Well, you've still got some windows left. Hey, no! You can't leave until I've had a go. Let me show your mates how a boomerang should be thrown. Thanks, Mr Wallaby. Ah, uh, don't mention it. That's what neighbours are for. <laughs> now, the trick is you need to throw the boomerang more upright. Like this! Ooh! It's good, it's good, it's a good throw! Here it comes. It's good. It's looking... Oh, no! Someone catch it! Oh, dear. The boomerang has broken another window. So, um, we absolutely must be going now. Do you want any help mending your windows? Ah, uh, no worries, mate. That time it was my fault. Mr Wallaby really is a very nice neighbour. See you later. Bye-bye. See you later. <laughs> Where have you all been? Ah, just throwing boomerangs, you know. Mr Wallaby's windows have all been We broken. had a great time, didn't we, kids? Yes! <laughs> I've loved having you stay, Pepper. We've loved it too, haven't we, George? <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget your present. Oh, yes, the boomerang. Thank you. <laughs> Come back again. I will, just like the boomerang. <laughs> Pepper has had the best holiday ever with Kylie Kangaroo. Soft play. It is morning. Pepper and her family are having breakfast. Oh, there's a letter here for George. <laughs> it's an invitation to Richard Rabbit's party. Sounds fun. I'll take George to the party, as long as it's not at that awful soft play centre. It says soft play. Ah... Daddy doesn't like the soft play centre. Last time he got stuck and was rescued by a helicopter and a fire engine and a crane. It wasn't exactly like that, Pepper. It was only a helicopter. I think soft play sounds lovely. I will go with you, George. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for Richard Rabbit's party. Bye. I'll be back to pick you up later. You're very welcome to stay if you want. It's soft play, isn't it? No thanks. <laughs> Hello. 
You're very welcome to stay if you want. See you later. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Mummy Pig. I quite understand if you don't want to stay. No, I'll stay. Us grown-ups can have a nice, quiet chat while the children play. Oh, OK. <laughs> this is the soft play centre, where everything is soft, so children can bounce, swing, squash, slide and play. This is great. The children are having so much fun. Yes, I just hope we can get them out at the end. <laughs> the little children have been playing all day. Home time, children. <laughs> that was a lovely party, wasn't it? Yes. Have you all had fun? Yes. Are you ready to go home now? No. <laughs> My goodness, we're never going to get them out. There's only one thing for it. I'll have to go in. Good luck. Ooh. Ah, I'm stuck. Help. Don't worry, I'm coming in. I'm nearly there. Oh, no, I'm stuck too. Help. Hello. Mr Elephant has come to collect Edmund Elephant. Mr Elephant! Help! We're stuck! <laughs> no problem, ladies. I'll get you out. No, don't! You'll get stuck! It's a trap! Ah! I'm stuck! <laughs> Daddy Pig, Pepper and Susie have come to collect George. <laughs> ah, what good little children you are. Uh, where are your parents? Hi! We're, We're stuck. stuck! Oh, oh, that usually happens to me. That is going to happen to me, isn't it? I'm going to go in there and get stuck. Me and Susie can go in. We're smaller. That's kind of you both, but it is my job. As a grown-up, I must do this. But, Daddy... Don't worry, Peppa. If I get stuck, I will ring for the rescue services. <laughs> ah, yes, I'm stuck. Lucky I've got my phone. Hello, rescue service. Oh, you're in here too? Yes, I'm a bit tied up at the moment. So there's no one to rescue us? We're here, Daddy. <laughs> we will rescue the grown-ups. That tickles. Hey! Thank you, Pepper and Susie, for rescuing us. Hip hip! Hooray! Hooray! Now we can all go home. <laughs> the little ones have gone back inside. Pepper, can you bring the little ones out now? Yes, Daddy. But we might have to play a bit first. Pepper and Susie love the soft play centre. Everyone loves the soft play centre. Oh, police! Pepper and her friends have brought their bikes to playgroup. Children, today we have very important visitors. The police are coming to our playgroup. The police drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, Nina, no, Nina. It's Dee 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 Cars go. Yes, yes, if I might explain. What I was about to say was the police, the police. Here are the police. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. That is how the police say hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I'm Police Officer Squirrel. And I'm Police Officer Panda. We're going to teach you how to ride your bicycle safely. Ooh. Right, let's see you all riding your bikes. <laughs> Look where you're going. Always keep your ears and eyes open. And stop. Well done, children. Now, suppose you're riding your bike along and someone steps out in front of you. What do you do? Um, uh... I would ring my bell. Very good. Ringing your bell lets others know you are there. Can you all show me how good you are at ringing bells? <laughs> um... 
I don't have a bell. I have a horn. A horn is just as good as a bell. Could you give your horn a tiny little toot so that we can all... Yes, that should be sufficient to alert the public of your approach. Now for the last bit of the lesson. Where is he going? Police officer Panda is driving to the bottom of the hill. Calling police officer Squirrel. Over. Can you read me? Over. Read you loud and clear. Over. The police have special phones to talk to each other. I'm in position. Over. Now, when I blow my whistle, I want you all to cycle down the hill and use your brakes to not bump into Police Officer Panda. OK! <laughs> <laughs> They're on their way. Over. I see them coming. Over. <laughs> Very good braking, everyone. Are you ready for Madame Gazelle? Over. Send her down. Over. Uh, I don't think I need to do this. I am the teacher and I wasn't Off supposed to go. be taught. Ooh! Ears and eyes open. Ears and eyes open. Yes. This is fun. Ring your bell. Oh, yes. Ring bell. Brakes! Oh, yes, brakes! Well done. And that's how to ride your bicycles safely. Children, thank the police for taking time off from their important work to talk to us today. Thank you! You're very welcome. When I grow up, I want to be a policeman. And what is it about being a policeman that you like? I like blowing whistles. <whistles> Very good. But of course, there's more to being a police officer than blowing whistles. Oh, yes. We're always very busy. We do lots of very important things, like... Uh... The police solve mysteries and drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, Nina, woo! -hoo. Spot on, Freddy. Right, we really must be on our way. And remember, always keep your ears and eyes open. <laughs> oh! Who put that tree there? Yes, it's not a safe place to put a tree. I'll make a note. Dangerous tree on public highway. Ho, ho. You see, children, a police officer's work is never done. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Pepper loves the police. Everyone loves the police. <laughs> Pepper and her family are having breakfast. Oh. What's the matter, Daddy Pig? I need to go on a long journey for work. Can we come too? It's work, Pepper, and it's a long, long way by train. Choo choo! <laughs> Please, can we go? It won't be fun. I'm testing concrete. I need to know the relative density to mass to calculate for voids in the aggregate. I need to know that too. Uh, what does Mummy Pig think? I think it sounds lovely. But it's hundreds of miles away, in another country. Please, Daddy Pig. All right. We can all go. Hooray! This is the train station. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is the train driver. All aboard! <laughs> Full steam ahead! It's a long journey, so you'll just have to be patient. <sighs> Why not sing a song to pass the time? OK. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the tree runs on the track. Huff and puff, huff and puff, clickety-clickety-clack. I've sung a song. Now are we nearly there? Oh, oh, there's still a long way to go, Pepper. We won't get there until tomorrow morning. But what about bedtime? Where will we sleep? Right here. But this isn't a bedroom, Daddy. Watch this. <laughs> Magic beds. <laughs> and here's where we brush our teeth. A magic bathroom. There's a little basin with little taps. And that's not all. A magic toilet. 
I wonder what this button is for. Ah. <laughs> Daddy has found the magic shower. <laughs> Hello, passports, please. Of course. Ah, you are Mr. Pig. The Mr. Pig. You must be coming to test our concrete. Uh, yes. Do you know me? Oh, your work in concrete is famous in our country. Oh, but I have disturbed you. Good night. Uh, good night. It is bedtime. <sighs> night, night, Pepper and George. Night, night, my little piggies. Night, night. Pepper and George are tucked up in their little beds on the train. Clickety clack, clickety clack, the train runs on the track. Huff and puff, huff and puff, ba da 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 da. Boop, boop. It is morning and time for breakfast on the train. Good morning. Miss Rabbit, aren't you meant to be driving the train? It's fine. The train runs on rails. It can't get lost. Would you like coffee or orange juice? I'd like both, please. No, coffee or orange juice. You can't have both. I don't think we have to be so strict with the famous Mr. Pig. Coffee and orange juice. Thank you. Excuse me, I am King Alfonso. Could I have a coffee and orange juice too? No, that is impossible. Pepper and her family have arrived at the end of their long train journey. We are honored to have your visit, Mr. Pig. Thank you. Here is the concrete for you to test. Daddy Pig is an expert at concrete. Hmm. Very good. Hooray! I hope the trying journey wasn't too long and tiring. No, it was lovely. What do we do now? My job is done. So we can take the train back home. Oh, goody. We get to sleep on the train again. <laughs> Peppa loves long train journeys. Everyone loves long train journeys. <laughs> Parachute jump. It is raining and the school roof is leaking again. Oh, didn't I fix this roof for you before, Madam Gazelle? Yes, Mr. Bull, but still it goes drippity drip drip. It's probably a broken roof tile. I wonder if it's this one. Has the dripping stopped? No, it's dripping more. Maybe these are the broken tiles. Is that any better? No, it's getting worse. Hmm, this is a big hole you've got here. It's gonna cost a lot of money to fix. Oh dear, where shall we get the money to mend the school roof this time? My daddy did a parachute jump for charity. He floated down and made lots of money. Hooray! Good idea, Pedro. Hands up, who thinks their mummy or daddy would like to do a parachute jump? My mummy! My, 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 my daddy! My daddy! My daddy. Me. We need just one! Pepper and George have arrived back home. Mummy, the school roof is leaking again. Is it, darling? Yes. Madam Gazelle says it needs a lot of money to mend. Yes, yes, I'm sure it does. She asked if somebody's mummy or daddy would jump out of an aeroplane. Oh, I hope you didn't say daddy would do it, Pepper. You know he doesn't like heights. But you don't mind heights, do you, Mummy? I'm fine with heights. Good. Oh. Thank you, Mummy Pig, for agreeing to jump from an aeroplane. What? But I've never done it before. You'll be fine. Remember, it is for the children. Oh, in that case, of course I'll do it. Hooray for Mummy Pig! It is the day of Mummy Pig's parachute jump. I'm still not sure I really want to do this. It's all in a good cause, Mummy Pig. But I don't know how to jump out of an aeroplane. Don't worry, you'll get lots of training first. Hello, Mummy Pig. Mr Rabbit is the parachute trainer. This is a parachute. It will help you float through the air after you jump. 
Should I practice that? Practice what? Jumping. Why not? There, you're a natural. Is that it? Yes, you are now fully trained. Hooray! All aboard! I'm still a tiny bit worried about this jump, Daddy Pig. It's okay, Mummy Pig. I'll come up in the plane with you. Good luck, Mummy! <laughs> Don't worry, Mummy Pig. Remember, you've got a parachute. Yes, Daddy Pig. Oh, we are a long way from the ground. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Daddy Pig has fallen out of the plane. There she goes. Oh, wait. That's Daddy Pig. Oh. Wait for me, Daddy Pig. Whee! Mummy Pig has jumped. She is going to rescue Daddy Pig. She's got him! Hooray! My mummy to the rescue! Thank you for saving me, Mummy Pig! Oh, Teddy Pig, you're starting to slip! Mr Bull has just finished mending the school roof. Lovely job! It'll last for years! I can't hold on! Ah! Daddy! <laughs> Is Daddy Pig all right? Oh, oh, I'm fine. Good, because you'll need to do that parachute jump again. What? To raise the money to fix this new hole in the school roof. Oh, all right. Hooray for Daddy Pig! <laughs> Digger World. Pepper and George are visiting Digger World. George likes diggers. I like diggers too. <laughs> and today, you'll both be driving real diggers. Wow! Here is Mr Potato. Welcome to Digger World, where all your digger dreams come true. <laughs> this is the Sand Digger Ride. Ooh. Pepper and George, jump on board. Mummy and Daddy Pig, you have to pedal. Oh! oh. <laughs> now, fill up this big bucket with sand. <laughs> this is fun! Yes, fun! <laughs> Excellent work, children. Now we flip the bucket over, give it a tap, and voila! Hooray! Pepper and George have made a big sand castle. Go to the next ride. This is the wall building ride. <laughs> Stack these soft blocks to make a wall. Hurry up, Mummy. Okay, Peppa. <laughs> Pedal faster, Mummy. Oh, I'm going as fast as I can, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly finished. There. A lovely wall. <sighs> Here comes George with a demolition digger. Meow. <laughs> oh dear, George has knocked down Peppa's wall. George! <laughs> you naughty piggy! <laughs> ho ho! Building things up, then knocking them down! It's all part of the fun at Digger World! <laughs> this is the grabber machine. How do we play this one? Let's hope it's not pedal powered. Mummy and Daddy Pig do the pedaling. Oh. oh. Pepper and George use the grabber to win a lovely prize. Ooh. There are Mr. Potato dolls or toy dinosaurs to be won. I'm sure. Brr. Okay, George, let's get a dinosaur. <laughs> this way, George. <laughs> no, no, that way. Back. Forward, down, <laughs> hooray! We've got the dinosaur! Oh. The dinosaur toy is too heavy for the grabber. Oh, ho, ho. try again! Oh no! We got a Mr Potato doll! <laughs> the Mr Potato doll is just the right weight for the grabber. Aren't you lucky? And he's yours to keep! Oh. 
But the best news is you have earned your digger badges. You are fully qualified digger drivers. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you for visiting Digger World, where all your digger dreams come true. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> I really like Digger World because we get to drive... Stop! It is Mr Bull. What's the matter, Mr Bull? We're building a wall across the road. Digger, Digger, <laughs> Mr Bull, can we drive your Digger? Oh, I'm afraid children can't drive Diggers. But we've been to Digger World. We've got badges. Oh, that's OK then. Hop aboard! <laughs> I'll drive the digger and you can have the important job of pushing the buttons. <laughs> OK now, push the button. What? This red one? No, the green one! <laughs> ah! The digger has knocked over the new wall. Sorry, Mr Bull. <laughs> Building things up, then knocking them down. It's all part of the fun with diggers. Peppa and George love diggers. Everyone loves diggers. <laughs> Wendy Wolf's birthday. It is Wendy Wolf's birthday and she has invited all her friends to a party. Happy birthday, Wendy. Thank you, everybody. Mr Wolf is blowing up balloons for the party. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow these balloons up. <laughs> I love balloons. <laughs> me too. And me. And, and me. me. And and me. me. <laughs> Everybody loves balloons. <laughs> Come on, let's dance. <laughs> Here is Mrs. Wolf. Who wants bubbles? Me, 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 me. Okay, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow some bubbles. <laughs> I love bubbles. They are a bit like balloons, but they pop when you touch them. Watch. Woo! See, I popped one. <laughs> We can always make some more bubbles. Who wants to go? Me! me, 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 me. <laughs> okay. Hooray! <laughs> Are you ready? Yes, Mrs. Wolf. You have to huff. Huff. And you have to puff. Puff. And blow. <laughs> so many bubbles. <laughs> Pretty bubbles in the sky. Ooh. Look at that big bubble! That's not a bubble, Pedro. That's the full moon. Ah, and you know what you do when you see a full moon? Um... You howl. Ah Why do you do that? That's what wolves do. We howl at the moon. Wendy, can you teach us how to do that? OK. First, you have to look up at the moon. And then you howl. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Wendy Wolf has taught everyone how to howl like a wolf. Ow! 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 Wow! Who did that one? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't any of us. Ow! It's a wild animal! Ah! Ow! It is Granny Wolf. Happy birthday, Wendy. Hello, Granny. You must all be Wendy's friends. How do you do? Hello, Hello Granny Wolf. <coughs> My, what big ears you've got, Granny Wolf. <laughs> all the better to hear you with. What big eyes you've got, Granny Wolf. All the better to see you with. And what big teeth you've got. 
All the better to eat. Birthday cake. <laughs> <Hooray>! <laughs> Wendy, what's that in the middle of your cake? It is a little house made of sticks. Ah. Oh. Time to blow out the candles, Wendy. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow the candles out. <gasps> You've blown the stick house down. Oh, well done. That's my go. It was quite easy. <laughs> Houses made of sticks are easy to blow down. I always forget. What's your house made of, Mr Pig? It's made of bricks. Not straw. Bricks. Oh, of course. <laughs> that was a great party, Wendy. Yes, that was my best party ever. Oh. 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 <laughs> Happy birthday, Wendy! <laughs> Masks! It is the start of another day at Peppa's Playgroup. Good morning, children. Where is Madame Gazelle? Here I am. Mom! Oh. I was wearing a mask. <laughs> you were in disguise. Yes, and today you will all be making masks. Hooray! We have cardboard and coloured paper, <laughs> crayons and paints, <laughs> feathers, pipe cleaners, buttons, pom-poms. Can we use glitter? <clears throat> no glitter. Please, Madame Gazelle. Please, Madame Gazelle. No, I have only just managed to clean up from the last glitter event. Begin your masks, children. <laughs> Pepper is using coloured tissue paper. I'm making a butterfly mask. Danny Dog is using buttons and drinking straws. I'm making a robot mask. <laughs> Susie Sheep is using feathers. I'm making a magic owl mask. Twit twoo! I've made a superhero mask. Nay. I've made a carrot mask. <laughs> And my little brother Richard is a baby carrot. We like carrots. <laughs> George has made a dinosaur mask. <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> and what mask is yours, Edmund? It is the solar system with all the planets. I see. I've included Pluto, even though it's only classed as a planetoid. Very good. <laughs> Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> So, are we all finished? Mine would look better with some glitter on it. Please, can we have some glitter, Madam Gazelle? Glitter, 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 glitter. There are lots glitter, of other shiny glitter, things you can glitter. use. Not as good as glitter. Glitter, glitter, glitter. No, glitter gets everywhere. There is no getting rid of it once it comes out. It is a menace. But it's so special and magic. Please, can we have some glitter? Please? Oh, all right. But only if you all promise to be very, very careful with it. We promise. OK. I will unlock the glitter cabinet. Madame Gazelle keeps the glitter safely locked away. Now, children, you did promise to use this glitter very carefully. It is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Ah! Glitter! Don't panic. Please remain calm. There was a glitter leak, but we have it under control now. <laughs> Today, the children have been making masks. Ooh. Ho, ho, I'm here to pick up Pepper and George, but I can't see them anywhere. I'm a pretty butterfly. <laughs> flutter, flutter, flutter. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Butterfly. I'm looking for two little piggies. Do you know where I can find them? <laughs> I tricked you. It's me. <gasps> Peppa, what a surprise. But where is George? <laughs> ah! <laughs> George, it's you. <laughs> I thought you were a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I can't find Rebecca and Richard. Would you mind if I took these two carrots home instead? <laughs> Silly, Mummy. It's us. 
Oh, <laughs> Rebecca, Richard. <laughs> Come on, Pedro. Time to go home. I am not Pedro. I am Super Pony. Oh, does Super Pony want to come home or does Super Pony want to stay here for the night? Come home with you, please, Mummy. <laughs> Haven't we all had fun making wonderful masks? Who are you? It is I, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle loves masks. Everyone loves masks. Police station. Pepper and her family are driving home. That was a great day out. Now all I want to do is get home, put my feet up and have a lovely cup of... <coughs> Dinosaur. <gasps> George has lost Mr Dinosaur again. Oh dear. George could have lost Mr Dinosaur anywhere. We've been to so many places today. We went to the shops, to the playground, to the park. <laughs> George cannot remember where he left Mr Dinosaur. Oh well, Mr Dinosaur is lost forever then. <laughs> Don't worry, George. Somebody will have found Mr Dinosaur. Yes, and when people find lost things, they take them to the police station. So that's where Mr Dinosaur will be. This is the police station. Here are Police Officer Squirrel and Police Officer Panda. They are doing important police work. Very good donuts, these. Yes, donuts really are the best. Mm. The police like donuts. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. That is how the police say hello. And how may we help you today? Dinosaur. George has lost Mr Dinosaur. Don't worry, George. I'm sure you'll find your dinosaur. All you've got to do is keep your ears and eyes open. Uh, actually, we were hoping some kind person might have found George's toy dinosaur and brought it here. I see. We'll need to question George. It's just routine. Please describe your dinosaur in your own words. Take your time. Use as many words as you like. Dinosaur. Dine saw. Excellent description. Hmm, we do have some lost dinosaurs in the back. Follow me. Wow, what a lot of stuff. Yes, it's amazing the things people lose. Umbrellas. Handbags. Pirate treasure. Wow. wow. Yes, pirates are always forgetting where they buried their treasure. People dig the treasure up, and when they can't find the pirate who legally owns it... They bring the treasure here. Funny thing is, not one single pirate has ever walked into our police station to claim their treasure. This cement mixer was found in a train. The passenger must have forgotten it. Ooh. And this banana was found in a shoe shop. How in the world it got there, we'll never know. <laughs> I'm sorry, young lad. What were we looking for again? Dinosaur. Oh, yes. Here we are. A box full of plastic dinosaurs. Is this your Stegosaurus? No. How about this Triceratops? No. This Brontosaurus? No. Hmm. I'm afraid that's all the toy dinosaurs we've got. Oh. Don't worry, George. I'm sure you'll find your dinosaur. All you've got to do is keep your ears and eyes open. <laughs> oh, who put that lamppost there? Yes, it's not a safe place to put a lamppost. Dangerous lamppost on public highway. Aha! Uh -huh. So this is your car, is it? Uh, yes. The very same car you used for your day out when the dinosaur was lost? Yes. Why? Bear with us, please, madam. Did you look for George's dinosaur in the car? Well, er, uh, no. We assume... Please step away from the car, madam. Nothing in here. Completely clean. Mind if we open the boot, madam? Er, uh, go ahead. Hello, hello, hello. Look what we found here. <laughs> oh, yes. Why didn't we think of looking in the boot? Thank you so much. Just doing our job, madam. 
<laughs> George loves Mr. Dinosaur, and Mr. Dinosaur loves George. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit's hovercraft. Grandpa Pig is taking Pepper and George out for the day on his sailing boat. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Hello. Hello, old bean. Grandpa, that man just called you an old bean. Yes, Pepper. It's another way of saying old friend. Are they your friends, Grandpa? Oh, not really. We're just members of the same sailing club. Now, where did I leave my boat? What does your boat look like, Grandpa? It has a little red flag on top of the mast. Like that little flag? <coughs> ah, yes. Oh, dear. Grandpa Pig's sailing boat has sunk. I'm afraid we can't go sailing today, children. Oh. Here is Grampy Rabbit on his hovercraft. <laughs> what is that monstrosity? Is it alarm of a sailing club? Hello! What a marvellous day for sailing! Hello, Grampy Rabbit. Pepper, you look sad. What's the matter? We can't go sailing because our boat has sunk. Oh, dear. Why don't you hop onto my hovercraft? Hooray! I really don't think this is quite... Hold on to your hat! Ah! 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 Grampy Rabbit's hovercraft can go on land and water. I built it myself. You'd never guess, would you? <laughs> We don't need that boat. You can't drive this thing around here. You're not a member of the sailing club. Well, you're a member, aren't you? Yes, but... That's all right, then. <laughs> ah, nothing like a peaceful day sailing. The calmness of the water, the quietness of the... Oh, what's that horrible noise? Hello there! Lovely day for a sail! It's that monstrosity again! Is that Grandpa Pig? Uh, hello! <laughs> <laughs> I say, is anybody else thirsty? Me! Me! I saw an old shed back there selling juice. That's not an old shed. That's the Sailing Club Cafe. It's for members only. Yes, whatever! Let's go and get some juice! <laughs> Hello there. Uh, four beakers of juice, please. I'm afraid you cannot be served here, sir, unless you're a club member. I'm not, but he is. Uh, hello. Four juices, please. Ah, yes, sir. This is the life, eh? The sea and the sky and the boat sailing by. But the boats are not sailing by, Grampy Rabbit. There's no wind. Without wind, sailing boats can't Help. sail. Grumpy Rabbit. Good idea, Pepper. Hold on to your socks. <laughs> Ahoy there! Toss me a line and I'll tow you back in. Here we go! Grumpy Rabbit's hovercraft is towing the sailing boats back to shore. We're towing the boats to shore, boys. We're towing the boats to shore. <laughs> The train the boat to the car park, towing the boats to be parked. I brought everyone back to the car park. That way, they don't have so far to walk to their cars. But sailing boats don't go on land like hovercrafts. Oh, yes. <laughs> Grandpa Pig, who is this friend of yours? So sorry about that. Sorry? Am I what? We want to thank him for rescuing us. Oh, I see. He's called Grampy Rabbit. Delighted to meet you, Old Bean. You're very welcome, Old Bean. Three cheers for Grampy Rabbit. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, 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 hooray! <laughs> Playgroup star. Pepper and her friends are at Playgroup. There, finished. Pepper, what a wonderful picture you have painted. It is me and George and my mummy and daddy at our house. But where are you all? 
I can only see a house. We are all inside the house. Of course. It really is a wonderful picture. Here is a playgroup star. Wow! Thank you, Madam Gazelle. It is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Mummy! Daddy, look! I've got a playgroup star. That's fantastic, Pepper. I remember Madam Gazelle gave me a playgroup star when I was a little piggy. A long time ago, when Mummy and Daddy Pig were little, Madam Gazelle was their teacher. <laughs> Here is a playgroup star. <laughs> I was so happy. Did you get lots of playgroup stars, Mummy? Oh, yes. Daddy, did you get lots of playgroup stars too? Uh, it was such a long time ago. I really can't remember. No, I'm pretty sure you didn't get one, did you? <gasps> you never got a playgroup star, Daddy! No, I never did get a playgroup star. Not even a little one? No. Anyway, like Daddy Pig said, it was a long time ago, Pepper, And they're really not that important. What do you mean, Mummy? They are very important, aren't they, Daddy? Uh, yes, Peppa. Are you sad that you never got a playgroup star, Daddy? Well, I have done other things in my life to be proud of, you know. Maybe if you do a good drawing and show Madam Gazelle, she will give you one now. Playgroup stars are for children, Pepper, not for grown-ups. There! The roof is all fixed. Thank you, Mr Bull. That really is wonderful work. Have a playgroup star. Oh, thank you very much. Look, Daddy, Mr Bull's got a star and he's a grown-up. Hmm. It is evening time. Pepper and George are going to bed. Are you still sad because you never got a playgroup star, Daddy? You know what, Pepper? The more I think about it, the more I think I should have got a playgroup star. Why? Because I love to make things. And I was always drawing in class. What was your best drawing, Daddy? Would you like to see it? I think I've still got it somewhere. I'm sure I put it in the loft. Ah, here's my old school bag. And here is my picture. Wow, it's a dragon. Grr. It's very good, Daddy. <laughs> yes, I was quite pleased with it. But it didn't get a star. Nope. Hmm, that's sad. It is the next day. Pepper and George are going to playgroup. <laughs> Look at this, Susie. <sniffs> it's not fair, Pepper. You're too good at drawing. It's not my drawing. It's my daddy's. Oh, not so good for a grown-up. He drew it a long time ago when he was little. Ah. Peppa, have you done another wonderful drawing? No, Madam Gazelle. This is my daddy's drawing. Ah, oh, yes. I remember your daddy did like to draw. But you never gave him a playgroup star. I must have given him one for this. No, you didn't. Daddy Pig, you deserve a playgroup star. Ho, oh, oh, ho! I've never been so proud. <laughs> daddy Pig is a playgroup star. Hooray for Daddy Pig! <laughs> <laughs> caves. Today, Pepper and her family are visiting the caves. Molly Mole is visiting the caves too. Hello, Molly. The caves sound exciting, don't they? Yes, I'm looking forward to the Ride of Doom. Uh, Ride of Doom? What's that? I don't know, but it sounds good. <laughs> Hello, here is Mr Rabbit. I'm your tour guide. Please put on these safety hard hats. Will the case be dangerous? Not at all. Follow me for a completely safe tour. Good. All that talk of the Ride of Doom had me worried for a moment. I'm your tour guide. Oh. Here is Grampy Rabbit. Let's go on a wild, mad adventure. Oh, 
Should we put on these safety hats? Why not? <laughs> Does anyone have a problem with going deep underground? Um, I'm not too keen on small dark spaces. Uh, like a cave, you mean? And I'm not so good with heights. I see. Anything else I should know? George and I like exciting places. Brilliant! These caves are ridiculously exciting. Please, follow me. <laughs> These steps take us down into the caves. Ooh, this is fun. Yes, it actually is quite fun. It's good not to know exactly how deep we are. We're a hundred metres down now. Imagine, if you will, the tons and tons of rock just sitting above our heads. Great. <laughs> Welcome to the caves! Ooh! It's so pretty and sparkly! <sighs> Amazing! Look! There's a little boat! All aboard! <laughs> you know what? Because this cave is so huge and beautiful, I feel fine about being down here. Now we go through this little tunnel! <laughs> It can get a bit squeezy. Breathe in. <gasps> Everyone out of the boat. I can't say I enjoyed that. Don't worry. We won't go through any more tunnels. Good. We just have to cross this chasm. Whoa, that looks like quite a drop. Yes, it's wonderfully deep. I'll show you. See how long it takes this rock to hit the bottom. So, how do we get across? Did you hear anything about a ride of doom? Molly Mull said the ride of doom was the best bit. Uh, what exactly is this ride of doom? Nothing to be alarmed by. It's a zip wire ride over this chasm and down to the deepest part of the caves. Oh, goody! <laughs> it's really fun and, of course, completely safe. Wow! Uh, I'm not very good with heights. Is there another way to... Uh... See you on the other side! Wow! Wait for me! Uh, 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 if that isn't the craziest fun in the world, I don't know what is. <laughs> it was brilliant! Did you enjoy it, Daddy? Uh, yes. Here, at the deepest point of the caves, our tour comes to an end. Any questions? Uh, how do we get out? Oh, a good question. We take the lift. Here we are, back on the surface again. Ah, <sighs> daylight. Welcome to the gift shop. Look, there's a picture of us on the Ride of Doom. <laughs> Daddy, you look funny. That will help you remember the Ride of Doom forever. Thank you very much. <laughs> Pepper loves caves. Everyone loves caves. <laughs> London! Pepper and her playgroup are visiting London for the day. Children, this is London. Wow, it's so busy. There's so much to see, I just can't decide where to go first. My friend the Queen lives in London. Maybe she can help. This is the palace where the Queen lives. Hello? Please can I speak to the Queen? I am the Queen. Who are you? It's Miss Rabbit. You said if I was ever in London, I should drop in to see you. Ah, oh, Miss Rabbit. Come in, come in. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Queen. Queen. We're visiting London for the day. We were hoping you could tell us the best places to see. I can do better than that. After all, London is my city. I'll give you a guided tour myself. Hooray! <laughs> the best way to see London is on a double-decker bus. Ooh. Mr. Driver, please may we borrow your bus. Borrow my bus? You must be joking. No, I am your queen. 
In that case, your majesty, take it. If the queen asks you to do something, you must do it. Everyone up to the top deck. <laughs> the bus has stairs in it. The double-decker bus has seats at the top. I am the queen and I will be your tour guide today. Fast stop, Big Ben. <laughs> this tall clock tower is called Big Ben. Actually, Big Ben is the bell, not the tower. You know a lot for a little elephant. I'm a clever clogs. Oh. <laughs> of Big Ben telling us the time. It rang three times, so it is three o'clock. If it rang six times, would that make it six o'clock? Yes, it would. And if it rang a hundred times? Then it would be broken. <coughs> On with the tour. Next stop, Tower Bridge. <laughs> We need to cross the bridge to continue the tour. Stop! You can't cross! Look! There's a big ship! <laughs> it's going to bang into the bridge! <gasps> the bridge is lifting up! Wow! Tower Bridge lifts to let tall ships sail through. Good. Now the ship has passed, we can be on our way. Please lower the bridge. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but there's another ship coming. This is really too much. We can't wait around all day. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> the bus is balancing on the bridge. Now what do we do? Hang on. A minute, lads. I've got a great idea. Everybody move to the front of the bus. Okay. <laughs> Hooray! The Queen is good at driving buses. Are you enjoying your tour, children? Yes! yes. Open top buses are the best. <laughs> Why aren't all buses open like this one? It is raining. Ah, yes. That's why all buses aren't open like this one. Children, open your umbrellas. It is very important to take an umbrella when you visit London. Next stop, Trafalgar Square. Oh dear, what a shame. Trafalgar Square is full of puddles. But we love puddles. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, have a splash, Your Majesty. It does look rather fun. And one is wearing one's boots. Whee! <laughs> the Queen loves jumping in London puddles. Everybody loves jumping in London puddles. 